So let's go ahead and talk about chemical equilibrium and let's first kind of do a broad overview um, by defining what we mean by chemical equilibrium. The first important thing to note is that here we're only talking about a closed system. Um, in another segment we'll deal with um, equilibrium for systems that are open to the environment. So when we say equilibrium, we're saying you have reactants going to products. Remember equilibrium is um, signaled by the fact that we have a double-headed arrow, meaning that the rate of the forward reaction, so the rate at which reactants turn into products, is equal to the rate with which products turn into reactants. Okay, so a few important points about chemical equilibrium are that the concentration of the reactants and the concentration of the products do not change with time. So when we're saying that the forward reaction is equal to the backwards reaction, we're not saying that the concentrations of reactants and products are necessarily equal, but that they, the concentrations don't change at, with time once they reach equilibrium. So in saying that, it will appear as if the reaction has stopped. So in closed systems, they're always at or approaching equilibrium. And maybe most importantly is that at equilibrium, the ratio of the reactants and the products equals a constant. Okay, so let's kind of deal with this last tidbit a little bit more in detail. So let's assume we have a very simple um, reaction where A, your reactants, are in equilibrium with two moles of B, where B are your products. Okay, so if we break this up into the two separate components, we'll look at the forward reaction. So the reaction where A goes to form two moles of B, we'll say it has some rate constant K sub F for the rate going forward. And if we wrote the rate equation for that, um, you'd have the rate of the forward reaction is equal to K sub F times the concentration of A. Recalling that for rates of reactions, it's dependent on the concentration of the reactants, not the products. So then for the same equation two for the backwards reaction, we'd have um, our, what appears here is our products, but here if we're writing it out separate, it's on this side our reactants. So two moles of B, with the K sub R, so the rate for the backwards reaction, forming A. So then our rate would be rate of sub R is equal to K sub R times the concentration of B squared, remembering that this coefficient in front means that it must, you must square the concentration. And if this happened to have been a three in front, you would cube, so forth and so on. So then at equilibrium, the definition of equilibrium is that the forward reaction, so the rate with which um, two, sub B is form two B is formed is equal to the rate with which A is formed. So right here, the forward reaction is equal to the backwards reaction. So if we broke that out and wrote it in terms of equilibrium, we basically would be solving for a constant. And so we'd solve here and say B squared over, well the concentration of B squared over the concentration of A is equal to K sub F over K sub R and that that would equal some constant. And it, we'll find out in the next segment that this is the equilibrium constant. So basically, the equilibrium condition can be achieved from either direction, either going from reactants here to products or products back to reactants. So let's kind of look at a graphical depiction of that. So here on the y-axis, I have concentration in moles per liter. And then along the x-axis, I have time with increasing time going to the right. Here's my zero point. So if we're looking at this and you recall that the reaction was A going to form um, B. So here, concentrations, we'll see that we started with, for going forward, we started with A, right? So our reactants, we start to lose, um, the concentration of our reactants starts to decrease as the concentration of our products, B, starts to increase. And at some point, they, the they become equal, and that's when we know we've achieved equilibrium. Similarly, we can look at that based on rate here on our y-axis and time on our x-axis, and again, the zero point. So recall again that um, A were our reactants, and so we see the rate here starts high and starts to decrease some as the rate with which um, our product B is formed starts to increase until they both level off and an equilibrium is reached so that you can see that the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backwards reaction. And that's the definition of chemical equilibrium.